guys. How you doing? It's Electro Jet here. I hope you like the opening credits. Thanks to Smiley D. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I'm in a whole lot better spirits than what you seen last time. I do got a couple of things that I want to show you. And um, I got some good news. Um, and some bad news. The bad news is basically for my kids and my roommate, Rob. The bad news is I'm quitting smoking. Why is it bad news? Because they're going to have to deal with me in the interim while I'm quitting for the first week. Um, the good news is that um, I am out of the hospital. I got out of the hospital yesterday morning. Um, let me look here and tell you that... Uh, Yesterday was the 14th. I was in the hospital from the 12th to the 14th, well, from the 11th to the 14th. Um, I know you guys saw, a lot of you guys saw my original video about me trying to get into the hospital. And guys, I need to tell you that I felt so much love that um, literally my eyes were glassy. Um, I wanted to cry like a bitch. And I know nobody would have thought less of me if I did, but um, you guys really, really let me know how much you guys cared, and I appreciate that. To those on Stickam that do that, that watch my um, and participate in my uh, my uh, music trivia and my um, YouTube review, and then to those of you on YouTube. I really appreciate all you guys' um, messages. It meant a lot to me. Um, I think I got well a lot quicker just because you guys, Ralph and, and my kids were telling me all the messages that you sent me. Um, anyway, to moving on, I uh, captured some more video from that same day. That day I ended up going to two different hospitals and I'm gonna put it in this video. Oh, guess what? Went back to the hospital. Different hospital. Presbyterian this time. And I went in the ambulance. I think they dropped me off in the living room. And I specifically told them that I can't sit down because of the pain. Guess what I'm doing right now? I'm sitting down. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay, um, no way. It's going to be a 10 hour wait, they told me. And uh, like I said, there's no way I'm going to be able to sit down for 10 hours. Uh, that's created part of the problem, most of the problem to begin with. So, um, just have to find a different way. I can't believe I came here in an ambulance and got put in the waiting room on a seat. I got taken here on an ambulance. Anyway, I'm going to end up paying $400 for that ambulance trip. Well, Medicaid is. What a fucking waste. And so you can see what exactly happened. Now, the strange thing is, I ended up going back to the original hospital. Um, I went to um, I went to New Mexico Health Center. Hey guys, that's mom. She's taking care of her son today. Where's they said that they'll take him in in a few minutes, which is very promising. Um, yeah, very promising. So thank her. Yeah. I love you. She likes to show off her nails. Show your nails. Uh, okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, I gotta give her some props. Yeah, tell them this is not fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're real nails. They really are. They caused me a bunch of grief. So, anyway, it looks it looks promising, guys. It looks promising. Hey, guys. Guess what? I'm laying in a bed, and it's not it's not loveless. It's New Mexico Healthcare Partners. So, 
I had to do a bunch of walking, but they're taking care of me. Huh. Not even two hours. Thanks. And the doctor there had sent me back to Loveless. This time she sent me from the ambulance there at the health center and wrote a note and said, do not put him in a, in a chair or anything like that. He needs to be in a bed right away. And they took care of me. Hey guys, um, they're gonna send me by via ambulance from here to the hospital that I went to yesterday that I put on YouTube. Um, but this time they're not gonna have me sitting outside waiting. The doctors, the doctors here is gonna help help make sure that I'm laying down over there until someone takes care of me. So, you know, one thing I don't like doing is bitching at the hospital because what makes me any better than anybody else that's there waiting, you know, so you know, things get mad at me because I don't bitch, you know, and I don't make it sound more dramatic than what it is, you know, and uh, I mean, I, I just can't do that, not, not at the hospital. I can bitch all I want at a department store for bad service or at, or at a restaurant for shitty, you know, service, but, you know, at a hospital, you know, what makes me any better than anybody else that's sick there waiting just as long as me? So I won't. And I didn't, and, and I just don't tolerate it, so I'll end up leaving. You know, so that's where I stand as far as that. I'm not better than anyone else. But I'm just less tolerant, you know, and I end up suffering for it because I'll, uh, I'll make myself pay the ultimate price by not getting this health issues taken care of. I just wanted to say that so you guys understand where I'm coming from. Because whiz kid constantly jumping my shit. You should tell him you got chest pains. You should tell him this. You should tell I said, no, I can't. It's not right. I'm going to lie. You know, but I, you know, I am in a lot of pain. Obviously something's wrong. But I'm no better than anyone else in the hospital. So Anyway, I'll give you another update later on. Uh, and basically, love this... Uh treated me the way they should have treated me to begin with. And uh, I was happy about that. Oh, yeah, see, he's the accountant for Parks and Rec. His name is Andy Garcia. Oh, really? Yeah, that's yeah. my yeah. husband. That's, uh, that's my wife's boss. Is your wife Sandy? No, my wife's Ron. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think she went out there yesterday to go meet and that girl. I got all the medication I needed. I was there for three days. Um, uh, that was uh, three days longer than I wanted to be in a hospital for, but I was there for three days. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show you something about the me quitting smoking. Tell me if I did this right, guys. Um, I had to get Kit Kats and Milk Duds and... Um, a whole bunch of suckers. Do you think it's more of an oral fixation? And do you think I'm going to turn to 500 pounds? Let me know. <laughs> Give me a video response or something like that. Thanks a lot, guys. I love you all. I appreciate uh, all the, uh, the get well messages. Thanks a lot, guys. I love you all.